Now, we all know there's a ton of glitches, a ton of issues dealing with being a reseller. But if you're honestly and sincerely thinking about quitting on eBay over some of these, you might as well just give up and quit reselling right this very minute. Hey, it's Don here. Today I wanted to address the ton of comments and questions, emails and messages that we get on quitting. People that want to quit doing eBay. In the last five days alone, I've had at least 50 people text, message, post, comment about them giving up on eBay because of all of the drastic and constant issues. Honestly, if you're thinking about giving it up for that, you might as well just do it and quit reselling in general because these sorts of issues are going to continue to happen. For the last five, maybe eight years of me doing eBay, there have been just a multitude of glitches of every type imaginable. We constantly get people telling us the same thing. They're done with eBay. Now, there's nothing wrong with having an issue with the glitches. Having an issue, all the drastic problems that are caused by the platform that you were selling on. In this case, it's mostly all eBay. There's nothing wrong with having issues with that. There's nothing at all wrong with calling it out, being upset, and being bothered by those issues going on. For me, though, I am a business. I'm not going to let the issues and constant stuff going on with eBay affect me personally. It's my business. As a business, and as a business, if that's what you want to be, if you want this to be your business where this is where your revenue comes in from, you have to have some hard skin. You've got to be able to wheel and deal and work around all of these drastic problems and keep persevering instead of giving up. This is your own game. You can make it or you can break it. It's really going to come down to you and how hard you really want this. Now, I don't care what happens at eBay. As long as we're making a certain percentage of our revenue from eBay, I'm on eBay until it's not a viable platform. Now, it's been less and less viable for the last several years as time goes by. eBay at this point is less than half of our revenue. So, you know, I'm not giving it up, though. We still make a considerable amount of revenue from eBay. And I would honestly recommend if you're still making good money on eBay, even with the issues, there wouldn't make much sense in giving it up. When a business is getting revenue from a viable source, even with issues, you try to work around it and you keep going. Now, for me, this is a game. I literally treat this like a game. If eBay throws some roadblock in our way, like the October 1st fiasco when they pretty much dead-ended everybody's uh, searches and all that kind of stuff, I just figured a way to go around it. I didn't give up. I just doubled down and wasn't going to let eBay win that round of the game. That's how I look at it. Now, I'm in the game to win. I want to succeed at what we're doing. We've been a full-time reseller for 14 plus years, and before that we were part-time for a very long time since eBay was called eBay. Stuff has happened throughout that entire time I have been on the site. Mind you, we do sell on other sites. eBay is always the grunt of the issues. 90-95% of all problems we have with online reselling are all related to eBay. eBay takes up a ton of our time as well. Far more than it should considering the percentage of revenue that we're earning from it. But it's still a nice chunk of revenue. We work around it. We adjust schedules. I do whatever it takes to keep that revenue coming in. Now, again, this isn't my personal decision. This is a business-based decision based on all the factors, based on my P&L statement, my profit and loss. If that loss coming from eBay is killing my business, that would be a different story. But it still brings in a considerable amount of revenue. If you want to do reselling full-time, you've got to be able to work around all of these issues going on. That is your responsibility to figure out what's going on, how you can bypass it, and how you can still get those sales coming in without affecting your revenue. Traditional brick-and-mortar businesses have the same basic problems. If you're running a restaurant and somebody opens up a restaurant just a few blocks away, that's going to take away some of your business. How do you work around that? Those are things you have to do as a business owner. Now, if you've never been a business owner and this gets you to the point where you don't want to do it anymore, well, you probably should quit because it may not be for you, which there's nothing at all wrong with. Yeah, this is this is my game. I love doing this, even with aggravations and eBay's issues and the glitches and stuff. Overall, it's an excellent experience. I get to do what I want in my time and everything else. 
biggest factor for me is the freedom that I get from this. A couple thoughts to think about as well. I've been on eBay for a very long time. CEOs, those running the company, have come and gone. In the last few years, I've seen several come and go. The last one I was happy to see go. I'll be happy to see the current one go whenever that may happen. Management changes all the time in big businesses like this. When the revenues don't increase and things like that, we'll see another CEO and I'll still be here. And maybe the next CEO will change the site for the better. We'll change it so they're actually helping everybody and not calling people low-valued customers, low-valued sellers, low-valued items. Those are all basically insulting remarks for those people who can't afford as much. They're telling them that they're not important. Maybe the next one will come out and say, everybody's important and not just the items that we can garner some extra revenue by forcing people to have them authenticated, but everybody. Maybe they'll invest some more time into advertising and doing other things. Again, instead of pushing only high dollar, high value items and not worrying about the rest of the site. So those are some of the big issues that are concerning everybody. Those are things that will change over time. I'm in this for the long run. So if it takes a year or two for them to put somebody else in charge of the company and steer it in the right direction, I'm still here. I'm fine with that. I am fine with that. My revenue is still holding at the 40% mark. So. I'm fine again. I'm not going to jump off the handle and quit doing eBay. I may be very upset. I may want to rant about stuff. But unless you call eBay out on what's going on and what they're doing wrong and all these other glitches and stuff, they're going to think no one cares or it's not important of an issue or, or it's nothing to worry about and no one has a problem with what they're doing. So without calling them out, without ranting, it's just going to be business as usual and they will never fix the stuff that's going on on the platform. But what I would not do is quit over the issues. I'll call them out every time someone's doing something stupid or unproductive or harming the sites that I make money on. If it was Amazon that was doing all these stupid moves, I would call them out. Like when they raised the price on book storage. That's when I gave up books for FBA. We used to sell a lot of books. It's not practical or worthwhile to send in books for us at all to FBA anymore, at all. It's just not worth it. They've raised it out of the existence of those mid-range money-making books that we used to get constantly. Now there's only a dollar or two to be made and it's just not worth my time. My time is better spent somewhere else. But unfortunately, most of the problems that we personally have, as well as most of those who contact me, who watch the videos, are with eBay. There's nothing whatsoever wrong with complaining and ranting about the issues that they cause. If enough people did it, eBay would change direction and hopefully change what they're doing and fix some of these issues. Every single day, anybody here is doing something on eBay. There are issues. There are always glitches every single day of my life. For years now, it's been that way. Good, bad, or indifferent, this is what I personally like doing. Again, this comes back to why I do this. It's for my freedom, my ability to do and use my time as I wish, and the ability for me to gain all the revenue from my work instead of somebody else getting all the money from my personal sweat, my personal efforts. How bad do you want this? Are you going to let the glitches and the issues with eBay hold you back from continuing with this and hold you back from having that freedom, having your own business like this? If you truly love the sourcing, all the other aspects other than the issues with eBay itself, don't give up. Don't give up. Eventually, somebody else is going to be running the company if it keeps going. They change all the time. You do a quick Google search and see how many people have run eBay since eBay's existence. They change. Maybe the next time around, as I said just a few minutes ago, will be the winner and everything will skyrocket. You'll be set. You'll be ready to go. But if you can't handle the heat, you can't handle the issues, constant, I know they are, this may not be for you. Any job you work at and you're running it as a manager, you're going to have to be putting out fires most every day of the week. Someone may not show up. Uh, a shipment may not show up. Electricity could go out. Something's damaged. A uh, guest accident. Geez, there's just so many things, no matter where you work, that could happen. This job as a reseller is no different whatsoever than working for all of the other folks that you could possibly work for. I've worked for a lot of people as a regular employee, an assistant manager, a general manager, and even a regional manager. And working in those positions, I've seen pretty much everything. I've seen stabbings, shootings, robberies, 
some very horrific accidents, all sorts of different things that weren't very enjoyable, very unpleasant, but I kept going. I kept with it because it made me decent money, and at the time, that's what fulfilled me. But these days, the only thing I ever care to do going forward in the rest of my life is reselling, is doing this sort of thing, historical niches, reselling and learning and collecting and all that kind of stuff all plays into being a reseller. If you're into that, that's what you like, don't let this sort of thing stop you. Don't let all the problems or issues stop you. They will hopefully go away at some time. It's up to you, though. If you just don't want to do it or it's just too much, that's your call. But there's always tomorrow. You never know what's going to happen tomorrow. You never know what's going to happen in the future. If you just give up, though, you'll never have the opportunity and you will never have that chance. But anyway, that's what I have for you today. Hopefully that gave you some ideas, some thoughts. If you enjoyed this video, please hit that like button down below. You can also hit the bell icon to be notified if I post new content or go live. Subscribe and tell all your friends. Gravity cliffhangers. You race them through the giant loop, the death-defying spiral. Up the wall to zero gravity and take the lead to win. Zero gravity cliffhangers with Night Glow from Tyco.